Hey guys, my name's Lauren and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the Eheim, Ehim or Ehem Skim 350. So actually, before I even begin, I would really like to know how you actually pronounce that. So in the comment section below, is it A, Ehim, B, Eheim, C, Ehem or D, none of the above because I have the wrong accent. Let me know, that'd be greatly appreciated. And if you could also let me know in the comment section if it is the last one that I have the wrong accent, what accent I'm meant to have to be able to pronounce that word. So if you've been following me along my little journey, you'll notice that I keep a very, very simple saltwater set up. And up until now, I've not had any sump, skimmer or any of that sort of stuff. It's just been my canister filters, heater and wave maker, basically. That's all the equipment and as fancy as it gets in this tank behind me. So everything's been going along really quite well. There's not really been any major issues. It's all been ticking along nicely. The only thing I've noticed is that you do get a bit of scum or you know surface buildup on the top of the water because I don't have any skimmer or anything like that to sort of take that top layer off. And even if you've got fresh water, you could notice sometimes that you get a bit of an oily film on top of the water. And that's exactly what these ones are for, uh, to get rid of that. Uh, but the, And the other thing I actually noticed is a lot of my leather corals, the polyps weren't actually opening up fully. So they would extend, but they wouldn't actually open up. And I've especially had one leather that has literally not really opened up at all for months now. And I know leathers can be, you know, fussy little things and sometimes they do that, but I did read somewhere that it can have something to do with the fact that you've got too much protein or too much excess nutrients in the water. So I thought, you know, I don't have any surface skim or anything to take off that extra film or, you know, help to break down any of the excess food or proteins in the water. And I heard that can be one of the reasons why letters don't open up fully is because there's already too much excess nutrients in the water and it kind of doesn't need to or you know that sort of thing. So I thought about it and I was like you know what, I think I'm gonna get something but I don't like to spend hundreds of dollars because I'm not a millionaire. I don't know how you guys have all those really fancy tanks I tell you. Crazy. So much. It's a lot of money. So I'm one of those people that when I buy things online I, I don't usually look at the size you know the sizing which is you know something I should probably learn to do but I kind of look at the picture and go, oh yeah, that's going to be about that size. So when it came, I was actually expecting it to be like this big, but it's actually really small. And it's actually a really good thing that it's small. And I have no idea why I thought it was going to be huge. But anyway, it's really nice, small and compact. Before any of you comment, I'm aware that it's way too small for my tank and I'd probably need about seven of these to do my entire tank. But I thought, you know what, something's better than nothing. And... I've been running it on no skimmer whatsoever. So I wanted, I was interested to see what the difference it would make with just one of these just in my tank. It would get rid of that, you know, oily film or, you know, that film on top of the surface of the water and just see how we go. So I will say as well that this isn't going to remove the stuff from the water like some of those external uh, skimmers do. This is just going to break it down enough so that my canister filters can pick it up properly. So. It's not, you know, gonna do a full skimming thing, but it's gonna do something. And I'll be totally honest with you, this was gonna be one of those unboxing videos where I was gonna do it all today, but I actually got this midweek and I had no time to do the video. So as you can see, it's actually in my tank already, but I did film a little bit of, you know, when I got it out of the box and what it looked like. So I'll show you that now. All right, so this is it fully out the box and luckily it comes fully assembled so you don't have to assemble it yourself which is awesome and the first thing i noticed was the slide thing down the side and so that's just to increase or decrease the flow there uh, it comes with three suction caps that you put on yourself uh, and then it's also got the top part there which will come out completely like this and it all sort of works like that but it's really compact really easy to sort of figure out and put together the very you know all you have to put together is really the uh, suction caps on the back i popped it on the side there right next to my uh, wave maker there and i made sure that the bobbling bit at the top sort of just was sitting on the surface 
There was a few bubbles when I first turned it on. That's what you just saw there. But I had it on the lowest setting. They always recommend, or well, it said on the instructions, to have it on the uh, minus as far as it goes on that little slider there as that'll reduce the amount of bubbles that you get at the beginning. And then after about a week, you can crank it right up to the maximum there. So just to show you the top, so this is where it's gonna be picking up all that stuff off the surface of the water. So I'll show you now what the surface of my water looked like before I put the surface skimmer on. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's big rings around where the ripples stop of the wave makers. And also there's a bit of bubbling and a bit of foam on the side there as well. And this, I took this 24 hours after having the surface skimmer running on this tank and I can't see any rings or any oil or anything on top of the surface now. So I'm fairly impressed with what it's done for such a little piece of equipment. It's super glassy on top of the water now and it's, yeah, glistening. It's really, really nice. So yeah, I've been pretty impressed with this little piece of equipment and it's done a lot more than I was probably expecting it to do. So I would definitely highly recommend if anyone, I know there's a few of you out there that are setting up or have similar setups to me. If you are looking at getting a skimmer, this is definitely a really good cheaper option and something that you can just put in your tank. You don't have to, you know, hide it away down here. And it's such a reasonable size that you could fit in a smaller tank without it sticking out like a sore thumb. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't and forget, if you are new, to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. But thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.